Listening practice through dictation three. Nature and the environment. Unit one. A big responsibility. Mom, can I get a puppy? No, Billy. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility. I promise to take good care of him, and you won't have to remind me to do things for him. A dog isn't a toy that you play with for a while. He will be part of our life for the next ten or twenty years. He is a living creature. I understand that, Mom. I promise to feed him every morning and take him for walks every afternoon. That's part of the responsibility, but there's more. He needs a license and has to go to the vet to get shots. A dog also needs companionship. You can't go off with your friends and leave him locked up in the house all day. I understand, Mom. I have almost a hundred dollars in the bank, so I can pay for his license and shots now. There are other expenses too. Dog food is rather expensive. Well, I have my job mowing lawns, and I'll get a newspaper route. I think we should discuss this with your father when he gets home. This is a family decision. Okay, Mom. Thanks. Unit two. Elephants are amazing. Elephants are interesting. They are intelligent. They also have a great memory. You should always be kind to elephants. They remember everything. A woman from India told me a story. When she was a little girl, she knew of an evil elephant keeper. He often hit his elephant. He was very mean and cruel to the elephant. Then the evil keeper sold the elephant. The new keeper was a very kind man. Many years later, the evil keeper met the elephant again. The elephant remembered the evil man. He picked up a stone with his trunk and threw it at the evil man. The elephant still knew the man even after so many years. Elephants help each other too. Elephants use a special sound. The sound is so low that people cannot hear it. This sound travels really far. Groups of elephants can communicate with each other. Even if they are far apart, this is very useful because it helps the elephants to find water and food. The elephants cooperate to help each other. Unit three, ants, ants everywhere. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. How are you? I'm worried, Brianna. Thousands of ants are all over my patio. That's quite a problem. What's worse is that my daughter's birthday party is in a few days, and I wanted to have it on the patio. Why don't you call an exterminator? I would, but I don't want all those hazardous chemicals around my children. It's harmful and unhealthy. I also don't want dangerous substances to seep into the garden. I usually don't have problems with ants, and I don't use any chemicals. What's your secret? Well, ants are difficult to control. So I planted a lot of mint plants near my deck. I also use cinnamon and cayenne pepper. I just sprinkle them around the places I don't want ants. Some people have tried it and said it worked. Others said that they needed to try something else. I think it's worth a try. I would rather use cinnamon and mint around my patio than some hazardous chemicals. Besides, I don't mind having the ants in the yard. I simply don't want them coming to the birthday party. Would you mind helping me? It would be a pleasure. I have a lot of cinnamon at home, and I can run to the store to get the plants for you. Thank you, Brianna. You're such a thoughtful person. Unit four: The oil spill. My best friend Katie lives near a beautiful white sand beach. Her parents take us there every summer. The water is clean and refreshing. We have a lot of fun in the waves. Last year, there was an oil spill at Katie's beach. We volunteered at the beach to clean up the oil and help the birds that were caught in the spill. When we arrived at the beach that day, the water was slick with oil and the white sand had turned black. It was an ugly sight. At first, the rescue workers would not let us on the beach. 
We had to watch from a distance. We watched as they put a huge float in the water called a boom. This device kept the oil slick from spreading. Once they stopped the slick, we were allowed on the beach to help. Each of us was given a broom. We swept the oil into a pile. The workers took it away in big trucks. We all worked very hard that day to restore the beach. Once the oil was removed, the birds that had been caught in the oil had to be helped. The workers showed us how to remove the oil from their wings. Then the birds could fly away to safety. We were very proud of ourselves that day. We helped save our beautiful beach and the birds who visit it. Unit 5 The Amazing Amazon The Amazon is an amazing river. It is unique in many ways. It is the second longest river in the world. It is 6,500 kilometers long. It starts up in the Andes Mountains. Its drainage basin, the area of land that collects water, covers 40% of South America. The Amazon River has many small rivers that supply it with water. It is the widest river in the world. The river rises more than 9 meters during the rainy season. It overflows its banks. It floods large areas of the rainforest. During that time, in some parts, it has a width of up to 40 kilometers. The Amazon River is over 325 kilometers wide at its mouth. It has more water than any other river in the world. The Amazon River is also home to many animals. Over 2,000 types of fish live in the Amazon River. One kind of fish is the piranha. The piranha is a terrifying fish. A piranha grows up to 60 centimeters long. It hunts in a group. A group of piranha can kill and eat cattle in a matter of minutes. They are so efficient that only the bones are left. This fish is one of the most dangerous creatures in the Amazon River. Science and Technology Unit 6 Research What are you doing, Billy? I'm doing research. I found a lot of great websites. You know, I think you might want to go to the library and look at some books. I don't want to. It takes too much time. And besides, this is fast, easy, and fun. This paper will be done in no time. The Internet is great for finding information, but it is also full of misinformation and lies. You don't really know what you are looking at unless you are at a reliable site. It's safer to get some books first and then search for more information. Grandma, I love you, but I think you're a little old-fashioned. Look at all this great information. My report is on Albert Einstein. Now, according to the site, he was born in 1979, came up with the theory of relatives, and was awarded the Nobel Prize for physics in 1922. Your information is wrong. Albert Einstein was born in 1879 and developed the theory of general relativity. He won the Nobel Prize in 1921. Wow! That means all this stuff is inaccurate? How did you know all that? Come with me to the library and I'll help you find the books with those facts. Thank you, Grandma. You're a real lifesaver. Unit 7. A New Calculator Hi, I'd like to see your calculators. Did you have a certain model in mind, ma'am? I'm not thinking of any specific model. I want something simple for basic math. Is it for personal use? Yes, I just need it for shopping and keeping track of my bills. Well, the great thing is that these simple calculators are very inexpensive and small. Here is a solar model that never needs batteries. It is thin, too. It's too small. I can't read the numbers very easily. How about this one? It is a pocket calculator. It's a bit bigger. The display is easier to read. Yes, I can see the numbers better. It is easier to hold, too. Is it also solar? 
Yes, it is. It is battery powered as well. It has an eight digit display. This calculator also has a memory key. How much is it? It is only $5 plus tax. It comes with a one year warranty. I'll take it. Unit 8 Racing Robots. I have been interested in robots for as long as I can remember. The first thing I did when I entered high school was join the Robotech Robot Making Club. We get together after school every day and create our own robots. Nowadays, it is very easy to find kits to build your own robot, and these are what we use. The highlight of the year for us is the annual Robot Maze Race. Everyone who wants to take part has to make a small computer-controlled robot. You need to race it to the center of a maze. We work together in teams of three or four. This year, I am working with two students who won last year's competition, so I think we have a really good chance of winning. Our robot is about 30 centimeters high. It weighs two kilograms. It should be really quick. We have been practicing often, and we have already equaled last year's speed, so we just need to get a little faster. We are keeping the design of our robot secret. If we win, we will get $500. I hope this will be my lucky year. Unit 9. Online Chatting Philip, are you still chatting online? It's 9.30 p.m. You have an exam tomorrow. Yes, Mom. I'll get off in a minute. I read some articles about chatting online. I'm not so sure you should be spending so much time in front of your computer. Mom, that seems unfair. It can be very educational. You meet people from all over the world who talk about lots of different things. Okay, maybe these people share their knowledge. I still think it is better to join clubs and socialize with real people. Do you think chatting online causes bad behavior? Online chatting can be very addictive, not to mention expensive. Well, if you have DSL, chatting is not expensive. Also, not everyone who chats is an addict. Disabled people are better able to socialize online. You know, not every area is wheelchair accessible. True. However, I've read that there are lots of strange people online who are dangerous. I'll be careful. Besides, you can always see what I'm writing and who I'm writing to. In my opinion, the biggest fault with chatting online is the lag time or delay in the system. I agree. I have noticed that there is some lag time in you getting off the computer. Unit 10. The Nobel Prize One of the greatest achievements in the world is to win the Nobel Prize. It has been given to people since 1901. There are prizes for physics, chemistry, and medicine. There are also prizes for literature, economics, and peace. The Nobel Prize is named after Alfred Nobel. He was born in Stockholm, Sweden, in 1833. Alfred Nobel invented dynamite in 1866. Dynamite is used in mining, construction, and war. Before he died, he wrote that all of his money should be used to create the Nobel Prize. He died in 1896. The first prize was given in 1901. Each prize has three parts, a diploma, a gold medal, and money. The money has increased since 1980. It is now 10 million Swedish crowns. This is about 1 million euros. How are the winners chosen? Five committees secretly meet to pick the winners. The Nobel Prize for Economics is the only one that is not decided that way. That is because it was created in 1956 by the Bank of Sweden in honor of the 50th anniversary of Alfred Nobel's death. The Bank of Sweden decides who gets the Nobel Prize for Economics. Since 1901, over 750 people have won the Nobel Prize. Art and Culture Unit 11. Great Art What makes a painting a great work of art? There are many answers to that question. Some people think that a painting should look pretty. Others disagree. The skill of the painter is important. 
The techniques used are also important. Most of all, a great painting has meaning. A great painting has a special element in it. Sometimes a painter's special element is the way he portrays his or her feelings in a piece of art. An example of this is Picasso's painting, Guernica. It has strange shapes in it. It shows suffering people, too. It is not a very pretty picture. However, it makes people understand Picasso's feelings about war. Other times, the element is a memory or feeling. This comes from inside another person. Someone may see a painting and be reminded of a beautiful memory. A painting can also remind people of a feeling. For example, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa is very popular. Many people like her smile. Some people say it is a mysterious smile. Others say it is a happy one. Still others make up stories about the woman in the painting. Which element is the most important? Is it the skill of the artist or the feelings of the person looking at the painting? Whatever the case, a painting that grabs people's emotions is popular. Unit 12. Talking Drums I want to be a member of a heavy metal band. I love heavy metal drums, James. I don't, Henry. They are too heavy, if you ask me. I prefer a more traditional style, like African barrel drums. Barrel drums? What are those? They are made with hollow logs and animal skins. First, they cut down a tree. They cut a section that's about as thick and tall as a barrel. They stretch an animal skin over the top and tie it to the sides with wooden pegs. These pegs can be tightened to change the pitch. Hmm, that sounds interesting. In Nigeria, they have talking drums. They use a hollow tree trunk that's smaller than a barrel drum and leave an opening at both ends. Then they fit an animal skin on each end. There's a string between each of these ends. When a player holds the drum under an armpit and squeezes, it tightens the string and raises the pitch. Why do they call it a talking drum? The drummers are so skillful they can make the drums imitate human voices. They seem to cry, laugh, and shout. I'd like to hear that. Why don't you come to the community college with me tomorrow? A troupe from Africa is giving a concert, and they are supposed to have the best drummers in the world. Now that sounds great. Unit 13. The Hot New Movie the latest blockbuster movie, Robots Attack 2, starring Garrison Fort, opened yesterday. Fort and Andy Robot are at it again, saving people from the jaws of death. The evil robots are invading Atlantis once again. The crowds seem to love the sequel. Maybe they loved it as much, if not more, than the first Robots Attack. The special effects are fantastic. Mr. Fort seems to have worked on his fighting technique. His martial arts skills are amazing. He beats the evil robots easily. Of course, our leading man saves a lady in distress, the fair Angie. She promptly falls in love with Garrison the hero. However, Andy Robot is jealous of this new love. He spends a good part of the movie trying to ruin their plans. Another surprise is the evil robot Homer, who decides he wants to become a do-gooder. His partner, Ethel, works hard to make him return to his evil ways. Does Andy Robot succeed in rescuing Garrison Fort from love? What about Ethel? Does she bring Homer back to his evil ways? To find out, head for the theater, buy a ticket, and sit back and relax. Unit 14. A Faux Pas It happens a lot. So many people visit and live in foreign countries nowadays. The culture and manners of every country are different. It is likely that a foreigner will say or do something inappropriate. This is called a faux pas. In one culture, it is fine to do something one way. In another culture, it is rude. For example, my friend visited a relative in Israel. She offered to wash the dishes. She did not know that it was important to wash the meat dishes with a special sponge. 
she used the wrong sponge. Her friend's father was very upset. In Canada, it is fine to use the same sponge to wash all of the dishes, but not in Israel. Something similar happened to me when I visited a temple in India. I was surprised when two officials stopped me and told me to take off my shoes. It was only then that I realized that people are not allowed to enter a temple with their shoes on. I was very embarrassed. Of course, I apologized for my mistake. A faux pas is embarrassing. No one wants to be rude. No one wants to cause problems. However, when two cultures meet, there can be misunderstandings. The next time someone is rude, be patient and understanding. He may think he is acting politely. Unit 15. The List Thanks for coming, Dad. I can't believe my first day of school is just next week. Your mother and I are proud of you. Greer is a very prestigious art school. There is an enormous list of art supplies. They are mostly items I don't recognize. Let's look for the supplies that you recognize, Megan, and then we can get help with the rest. I need a large drawing board. I also need a drawing pad one meter by half a meter in size, newsprint paper, and a set of artists' drawing pencils. Here is the drawing board, and I noticed the pencils over there. What's next? I need watercolor paint, various brushes, India ink, and a fountain pen. They are on the wall display. Now we need to locate the vine charcoal. Excuse me, miss. Yes, sir. How can I help you? We're trying to find vine charcoal. Do you know what that is and where we can find it? Vine charcoal is specially burned wood. Burning it makes it like a black chalk. It is commonly used for drawing. Vine charcoal is very easy to erase, so we keep it next to the erasers. That's everything, Dad! Great. Let's pay for all these supplies. Leisure and Entertainment Unit 16. Family Camping There are many popular leisure time activities, but one of the most enjoyable is family time. Most people enjoy being with their families. There are many things to do with your family, too. Families can go to the movies, travel, visit museums, and play sports together. The most common family activity is probably camping. Many families like camping. It is a chance for the whole family to work together. They can stay in the wild, children gather dry wood for the fire, their parents set up the tents, then the whole family gathers around the fire. They enjoy a special meal together. Then they set off into the woods with a compass and a map. After hiking the trails, everyone gets a fishing pole. Each person casts the fishing line out into the river. Who gets the biggest fish? It's a great contest. Later, the children clean the fish by the river. They take the scales off the fish. Mom fries the fish over the campfire. Dad cleans up when everyone is finished. You don't want wild animals coming to eat your leftovers. Then everyone goes into their tents for a restful night. While there are many things that families can do together, camping is probably the most exciting. Unit 17. The Amusement Park I love this amusement park, Fran. Thanks for suggesting it. I am having a fantastic time. There's that new ride. It's called The Volcano, and it's supposed to be amazing. That looks awfully high. Do you really want to try it? We've experienced the rocket, the giant Ferris wheel, and those bumper boats. Don't you think that's enough? Besides, I am absolutely starving. If you come on the volcano with me, I'll buy you a pizza with whatever toppings you want. Do you really mean any topping? Even mushrooms, which you don't like? Yes, I will even order a pizza with mushrooms. Okay, Michael. I will try this last ride. Great, Fran. I know you will enjoy this. Did you know that when the volcano erupts, our seats shake? I heard it is quite an experience. 
I am not sure that I want to get on this ride anymore. Don't worry, Fran. Look at the people getting off the ride. They look very satisfied. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do this, even for pizza. How would you feel if I bought lunch instead? I don't want to force you to do something you really don't want to do, and I am hungry. Sure, let's get some lunch. I want to try this new restaurant called Skylight. The top of the restaurant spins while you eat. Oh, wow! Let's go! Unit 18 Fresh Lemonade how can I earn some extra money this summer? Why don't we start a lemonade stand, Will? That's a great idea, Mary. But do you think we'll make any money? If we set up in an area with a lot of traffic on a hot day, we will get plenty of customers. We can charge $1.50 per cup. That sounds a little expensive. But we need to charge that much to cover our expenses. By charging $1.50 per cup, we can make good money with our lemonade stand. Okay, what do we need to get started? We need the ingredients to make lemonade. So we need lemons, sugar, and water. We need something to keep our money in, a sign to advertise the lemonade, paper cups, and a cardboard box to use as a stand. Should we sell food to go with the lemonade? I think that would be too complicated. We would need a permit and either a cooler or stove. We should stick to just selling lemonade. You're right. Let's just keep it simple. OK. Let's get set up and think of a plan to get some customers and make some sales. Why don't I attract the customers and you serve the lemonade? Sounds good to me. Unit 19. At the Movies. Ticket prices have certainly gone up. Yes, but I really needed a break, so if the price is a bit higher, it doesn't matter. Besides, I really want to see this movie on the big screen. Would you like something to snack on while we watch the movie? Sure. What do they have? It looks like the standard popcorn and soda, but there's also ice cream, hot dogs, and coffee. I have a craving for chocolate. But I should attempt to eat something healthy. I want to avoid getting sick this year. I'm trying to change my diet. I'm afraid the healthiest item may be the coffee. Do they have any muffins? No, but they do have brownies. I haven't had a brownie in a long time. Please get me a brownie and a coffee. What are you getting? I'm getting the large popcorn and a cola. Here is some money. It's on me. No, please. The tickets were extremely expensive. I know you are on a restricted budget. I insist. Did you want cream and sugar in your coffee? Well, thank you very much. No cream in the coffee, please. So you probably don't want sugar either. No, I think there is enough sugar in the brownies. I'll find us some seats near the aisle. Unit 20. Hobbies. When someone does an activity that is not a part of his or her job and is done for fun, it is called a hobby. Most people enjoy hobbies during their free time. Some people spend a lot of time on their hobbies. There are nearly as many kinds of hobbies as there are people. A hobby can be about making or collecting things or enjoying an experience. Creative hobbies are popular. Some creative hobbies are writing, drawing, and making pottery. A lot of people like making jewelry or clothes. People who do these kinds of hobbies sometimes become writers or artists when they retire. Collecting is also popular. Most collectors used to buy coins, stamps, or baseball cards. Today, toys, games, and model cars are trendy. Collectors buy and sell things on the Internet. They also shop online in stores all around the world. Enjoying an experience is a hobby, too. Some people listen to music. Others watch movies or read books. Many people travel or play sports. Helping people is a hobby. There are places you can help build houses for poor families. 
You can help feed the homeless at soup kitchens. You can also tutor children or help the elderly. A hobby is something that is done for fun. With so many choices, there is no reason not to enjoy a hobby. School and Family Unit 21 Defense Stay low and bend your knees. Come over here. Yes, coach? Jackson, when you're playing defense, keep your knees bent and your body low. It helps you keep your balance, and it allows you to move more quickly in every direction. Like this? That's right. You should attempt to stay on the balls of your feet. It's like you are getting ready to pounce. Athletes never rest on their heels. Should I stand with my legs close together or far apart? It is best to keep them about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and keep your back straight. Spread your arms straight out at your sides. This seems almost like I'm getting ready to attack the ball. It is a little bit like that. Your stance looks much better than before. Coach, how do I move forward and backward on defense? I feel like my stance is fine, but when I try to dart toward my opponent, I keep tripping over my feet. When you move forward, put your right foot in front of you with your toes pointing in the direction you want to go. When you move backward, just reverse it. Follow the direction of your left foot. How are you feeling? My legs are tired and my back aches. Playing defense is hard work. Take a break, then we'll try it again. Unit 22. The Importance of Writing This is terrible. I hate this assignment. What's wrong, Timmy? I'm frustrated because I need to write a book report and I can't get started. May I see your paper? There's nothing here. I can't think of anything to write and it's due tomorrow. To make matters worse, we have to perform an oral presentation in front of the entire class. I don't see the purpose of writing a book report anyway. Writing is a necessary skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. This book report is just one way to begin learning that skill. It's another form of communication and a means of expressing your thoughts. It allows others to understand what is in your heart and mind. I've never had to write before. Why should I start now? Now is the best time to begin. The best writers read a lot and practice writing. Anyone can learn to write well. I know you can do it. Okay, Mom. When you put it that way, I think I can do it. That's the right attitude. Let's try to organize some of your thoughts by brainstorming. What can you tell me about the book? The book? I've only watched the movie. Does that count? Oh, goodness. What kind of child am I raising? One that probably won't be a famous writer. Unit 23. The Course Schedule It's so difficult to choose what courses to take this semester. Henry. Have you chosen all of your courses yet? No, Sue. I'm having a hard time making up my mind, and I still need to select two more. Do you have any ideas? Do you know anything about the professors? I heard that the psychology professor is tough but fair. If you work hard, you can get a good grade. Psychology sounds interesting. How about we both sign up for psychology? Then we'd be in the same class, and we could help each other with assignments. I remember the last class we took together. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It would be fun. I promise I'll attend the classes and not just borrow your notes this time. Thanks. I was thinking about taking film studies. Why don't you take that? I like going to the movies, but I don't want to study them. I know someone who took that course last year, and she said it's very easy. Almost everyone gets an A or a B, and there is no homework. That is tempting, but I want to learn something useful. Fine, but don't complain to me if you get a C. Unit 24. Food, Family, and Fun Thanksgiving is a special family holiday in America. Families come together to give thanks for all they have. Although every family celebrates in slightly different ways, a typical Thanksgiving is full of food, family, and fun. 
My family celebrates Thanksgiving too. Everyone in my family goes to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. We have a large meal. Everyone helps on Thanksgiving. The children set the table. My mother cooks the turkey using her own secret ingredients. My father makes the side dishes. He makes potatoes, beans, carrots, stuffing, oysters, and beets. My mom makes cranberry sauce. My sister in law brings a pumpkin pie. I come early to help my parents cook. When it is time to eat, we put all the food on the table. Everyone sits down. We each say what we are thankful for before we eat. Some of us are thankful for our health, and others are thankful for their jobs. Everyone is thankful for something different. There is a lot of activity after the meal. My aunt and uncle clean off the table. My sister in law helps me wash the dishes. The teenagers wash and put away the silverware. The children help to tidy the dining room. My brothers take out the garbage. Then they go play football in the backyard. The rest of us sit down and relax. We are thankful for the food and our blessings. Most of all, we are thankful to have each other. Unit 25 The Project Hey, Dad, do you think you can help me out? I've just been assigned this enormous project at school, and I really don't know where to begin. Sure, Jason, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Dad, I know you'll be a great help and inspiration to me. Okay, okay, that's enough flattery from you for one day. What's this project about? Well, I have two choices. I can research your profession, or I can interview someone that I admire about their profession. If I do the second option, I must also add my own opinion about their profession. Well, I am an expert when it comes to my profession. Accounting is a noble profession, and one that I am always happy to talk about. Dad, I know how much you love your career. It isn't that I don't admire you, but what I was hoping actually was that you could speak to Mr. Chang, your diving friend, and see if he would agree to an interview. Diving for a living sounds cool. I see. That's a great idea. You know how I really dislike talking about myself for too long. Let me give David Chang a call right now and find out. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I know this will be an awesome project. People and Work Unit 26 The Assignment Hello, Wendy. Who did you do your homework about? I wrote about my dad because he is a firefighter. Really? Does he actually go into burning buildings? Yes, and he sometimes has to crawl into tight places to rescue people. Has he ever been trapped in a burning building? Well, one time he needed to break down a door. He was carrying a little girl out of her house. Someone left the stove on, and it ignited a fire in the kitchen. Was everyone all right? All five people living there escaped safely. But the house burned to the ground. Your dad is incredibly brave, a real hero. What does he do at the fire station? He resides there for a few days when he works. All of the firefighters cook, eat, and clean together. When there's a fire, they slide down a pole into the fire station's garage to get their firefighting equipment. They quickly put on their gear and then jump onto the fire trucks. My dad loves to drive the fire trucks. Wow, maybe I should be a firefighter someday. I'm definitely going to be a firefighter, Ian. I want to be just like my dad. Unit 27 Coco Lee. Theron Lee's mother hoped her daughter would follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. However, Theron always knew she wanted to sing. In her spare time, Theron sang along with pop songs. Theron also entered singing contests. She won many competitions. Her big break came after high school. She was on vacation in Hong Kong and took second place in an important singing competition. She got a recording contract with Fancy Pie Records and, a few years later, Sony. Today, Coco Lee. 
as she is now known, is one of the most famous pop singers in the world. She was born in Hong Kong on January 17, 1975, but she was raised in San Francisco. She has made records in English and Chinese. Her 1998 album, Di Da Di, won the MTV Asia Music Award for Best Album and Best Music Video. Coco's next album was in English. It was called Just No Other Way. It introduced her to American audiences. Apart from her beautiful voice and stunning looks, Coco Lee is intelligent. She had a 3.8 grade point average in college. She also earned a double major in biochemistry and bioscience. One of her dreams, she says, is to help find a cure for cancer. Who knows? Coco's mother may yet get her wish. Unit 28. A Blind Date What's wrong, Mike? You appear to be depressed. I haven't slept in days, and I feel awful. My fiancé and I broke up just before I went to Madrid for the concert. Why didn't you say something? No wonder your playing sounded so bad. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. It was an appalling performance, I agree. I was miserable and unhappy, but I had to perform anyway. Have you been seeing anyone else since you broke up with her? No, I have been working overtime instead. The conductor was not pleased with my last performance. Besides, don't you think it's too soon? Not at all. You might just need to get out and socialize. Hey, I've got a fabulous idea. Oh no, not another one of your ideas. What is it this time? Do you remember me telling you about Julia, a friend from work? I think so. Why? Well, she is single. I could set up the two of you. A blind date? I tried that when I was younger, and it was a disaster. Come on, Mike. I'd be helping two friends who will, of course, have a great time together. She has a charming personality, and she also plays the oboe. You can go to the concert in the park on Saturday afternoon. Maybe you can have coffee afterwards. She plays the oboe? Okay. Let me know when and where to meet her. Unit 29 Crime does not pay. Have you ever thought about committing a crime? Have you ever dreamed about holding up a bank and driving away in a fast car? Or have you ever thought about taking a famous painting from a big museum? There are many stories in movies and on TV of criminals who make a lot of money. They go on to live a life of luxury. However, for every successful criminal, there are many, many more who fail. These crooks soon regret their crimes. Take the example of a man in Winnipeg who tried to break into cars in a police academy parking lot. The man was found by the police in the parking lot. They saw him trying to open the doors of all the cars. The man was hoping to find some loose change or maybe take some good car stereos. However, he did not know that he was being watched by police officers. He chose the parking lot because it was in a very quiet area. He thought that no one would see him. He was soon arrested by the police. A foolish criminal like this man shows us that crime does not pay. Unit 30, a job interview. Hello, Ms. Jones. Please come in and sit down. Thank you. So you're applying for the position of computer technician? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Smith, and I will be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? As my resume shows, I graduated from Leeds University with a computer science degree. During my junior and senior years, I worked part-time as a computer lab monitor in the university. As part of that job, I helped students with PC and desktop application problems and did hardware and software maintenance. I also taught a weekly one-hour class on how to use Microsoft Office applications. How would you describe yourself? I really enjoy problem solving, and I'm hardworking. I'm also very organized, so when I have a lot of problems to deal with, I make a list 
and work through it from the most to the least urgent. That way, I can get everything done within the set deadlines. That's a good way to manage your time. Just one more question. Why do you want to work for us? Your company is well known and is respected in the computer industry. I would really like a chance to be part of your company. Okay. Thank you for coming in. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye. Sports and Health Unit 31 An Ounce of Prevention Hi, Sandy. I have a question for you. Sure, Joe. I need to have a physical examination, and there is a new clinic on Elm Street. Have you heard anything about it? One of my friends went there recently. She said it was very hygienic and well run. It is great to have a new clinic close by, since there is a shortage of doctors around here. Why are you going? I've just joined a gym. I want to get more exercise and they require a medical exam before I can start. What kind of tests do they want you to have? They want to know my blood pressure, how much I weigh, and results from a blood test to check for any possible diseases. I feel terrific, so I'm not worried. I had a routine checkup last month, and the doctor discovered that my blood pressure is a little high. It's not serious, but I am glad that I found out about it. I am walking every day, and I have to cut down on my salt intake. I would rather not take medicine if I don't have to. The change in diet has really made me feel better. You know the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I think you are right. Prevention is very important. I'm going to call right now and set up an appointment. Unit 32. Herbal Medicine Everyone wants to be healthy. People see doctors. They take pills to stay healthy. However, plants have been used to heal for thousands of years. More and more people are trying herbs to stay healthy. Plants used to heal are called herbal medicine. There are many plants used in herbal medicine. Each plant is used in a certain way. Herbal medicine works more slowly than most pills. Many people think plants are gentle on the body. There are a lot of examples of helpful plants. Ginger can help your body. Eating ginger often may help you stay healthy. Another helpful plant is parsley. It can stop bad breath. Herbs may be gentler than some pills. However, this does not mean that anyone can take them in any way. You should always be careful. Some herbs can be harmful too. Too much rosemary can be very bad for your stomach. It can make you sick. Foxglove is a very pretty flower. It also has poison in it. Nevertheless, if you are afraid of using herbs, you may be surprised. You have probably already used some kind of herbal medicine. Coffee, garlic, ginseng, and peppermint are all used in herbal medicine. Herbal medicine is becoming popular again as people become more interested in their health. Unit 33. Home Remedies Everyone gets a cold now and then. Doctors cannot cure colds. Sleep and rest are good for taking care of a cold. However, in almost every culture, most families have a home remedy for colds. These remedies are passed down from parents to children. They have changed very little over time. Different cultures use different ingredients. In Mexico, cinnamon, raisins, oregano, and hot water are used to make a special tea. Honey is sometimes added. A fruit called hennepap is used as a cold remedy in Puerto Rico. The fruit is cut up. It is then soaked in water. Sugar can be added to make it sweet. Chicken soup is popular in America. A large chicken is boiled in a pot. Carrots, onions, garlic, and other vegetables are usually added. Ginger tea is used to help a cold in China. A ginger root is peeled. It is then crushed. The ginger is boiled for about 30 minutes. Some honey can be added after it is done. Each family usually has a home remedy for a cold. Some remedies work, some do not. 
Some taste good, others do not. No matter what, home remedies are sure to be around for a long time. Unit 34 Too much of a good thing? Hi, Jenny. Are you drinking coffee again? Hi, Sam. This is my third cup. Are you sure it's all right to drink so much? Don't you think all that caffeine is bad for you? No, that's a misconception. Everyone thinks coffee is bad for you, but it's not. Really? According to an article I read, coffee can't be beneficial to your health. That's interesting, but you should remember that one study does not prove much. There are a lot of other studies out there, too. This doctor in Italy found a lot of benefits. Such as? She says the chemicals in coffee can be good for your heart and may relieve headaches, too. I know that some coffee can be good sometimes, but drinking too much is not beneficial. Coffee has a lot of caffeine, which is addictive. It affects your blood circulation and removes calcium from your bones. The doctor did admit that it is not for everyone and that you shouldn't drink more than three cups a day. You seem nervous when you drink a lot. And remember when you told me that you are not sleeping well? Do you think that maybe you should cut back? I appreciate your concern. I was thinking of cutting back. Would you like a cup of green tea? Unit 35. Soccer Rules Soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. Although the main idea of the game is easy to understand, there are many rules to be followed. A player gets a yellow card for not following the rules. A yellow card is a warning. If a player keeps breaking the rules, he gets a red card. When this happens, he cannot play anymore. He is ejected from the game. Another rule is about handling. Handling is when another player touches the ball with his hands on purpose. Players cannot handle the ball. A player may not do anything that is dangerous to another player. He cannot kick an opponent's leg to get the ball. There are also some lesser known rules. A player is not allowed to impede an opponent. This means that a player cannot purposely slow down another player on the field. A penalty can be called if this occurs. There is a rule about blocking a goalkeeper too. A yellow card or an indirect kick can be given to the opponent's team if the player tries this. Yes, soccer is full of rules. Travel and Transport Unit 36 Visit Frisco City Frisco City is the place for your next vacation. The city has lots of shopping, food, and fun. There are so many things to do. The river walk is a must-see. Take a city bus to any of the three downtown stops. There you will find stairs. The stairs go down to the riverside. There are about five kilometers of sidewalk on either side of the river. Palm trees and cypress trees decorate the area. There are also tropical plants. You will see many unique shops casual cafes, and upscale restaurants. Every shop is different. You can ride one of the river boats and hear a guide talk about the history of the river walk. However, the river walk is only one of the attractions of Frisco City. There are also two amusement parks just outside Frisco City. You can enjoy a day of fun in the sun at Water World Park. You can also spend the day enjoying the roller coasters and other rides at Sunland. Visit Frisco City. You will have a great time. Unit 37. Asking for Directions Asking for directions can be risky. I realized exactly how risky it could be when I needed to meet one of my friends one day. A while ago, I arranged to meet my friend at a new mall. My friend had been there before and indicated that we should shop there together. We planned to meet at 3 p.m. at Burger Palace in the mall. When I arrived at the mall, I realized I did not know where Burger Palace was, so I asked a woman for directions. She advised me to go straight past the bank 
and turn right before the food court. She mentioned that I would walk for a few minutes, passing a shoe store, until I reached Burger Palace, which was next to the bookstore. I followed her directions and arrived just in time. Twenty minutes later, I was beginning to wonder where my friend was. Thirty minutes later, I was worried. I did not know what to do, so I just kept waiting. At around 3.40 p.m., I saw my friend walking quickly toward me. I rushed to him and demanded to know what happened. I was at the other Burger Palace, he cried. We had not realized there were two Burger Palaces in the mall. Since then, I have made sure that I get the directions from my friends before I go to meet them. It saves me a lot of trouble. Unit 38. Fixing a Flat When your car gets a flat tire, do not panic. First apply your brakes and pull over. Inside the trunk, you will find a spare tire and a toolbox. One of these tools is a jack, which is a tool you use to raise the car. This makes the tire easy to remove. Position the jack beneath the car behind the tire that is flat. Insert the jack handle and turn it clockwise. Continue turning the handle until the car rises high enough so that the flat tire is well off the ground and spins freely. Make sure that the jack is securely supporting the vehicle. If the car is unsteady or the jack is unstable, lower the car. Reposition the jack and begin again. Next, use a crowbar to pry off the hubcap, the metal cover on the side of the tire. Inside the hubcap are four bolts that hold the tire in place. Loosen these using the long L-shaped tool. Push firmly on the tool to get the bolts to turn. It may be difficult. Once the bolts are loose, the flat tire can be pulled off easily. Now you can put on the new tire. Once it is in place, replace the four bolts and tighten them. Place the flat tire and the toolbox back in the trunk. Finally, drive to the nearest service station and get your flat tire fixed. Unit 39. The Exchange Rate Welcome to the Atlanta International Airport, ma'am. How may I help you? I am traveling to Venezuela. Can you tell me what the exchange rate is for the dollar? One moment, please, and I will look it up. The currency in Venezuela is the Bolivar. The exchange rate is 200 Bolivars per dollar. That seems rather low. Are you certain that that is all the dollar is worth? There may be several local businesses that may exchange for a higher rate, but the official rate is the one I gave you. Can I exchange $100? I need to have some money for a taxi and a hotel once I arrive in Caracas. No problem. Here is your money. Would you like a receipt? Yes, please. I will need it to keep track of my business expenses. Is there anything else I can do for you? I just have one more question. Do you know where I can exchange dollars in Venezuela once I arrive? I will probably need more cash, and I want to find a reliable exchange. The best place to exchange money is at a large bank. They will always give you the official rate. You can also find money exchange stores in most large cities. Wonderful. I will look for a bank. I appreciate your advice. My pleasure. I hope you enjoy Venezuela. Unit 40. The First Nations The First Nations are the people who lived in North America before Europeans migrated there. There is a place in Canada where you can learn about the culture of the First Nations. It is where the First Nations people used to live. Now, a visitor center is there. There is also an archaeology lab and walking trails. You can learn about the culture through the displays in the center. The displays show everyday activities. They show how the people lived. The gift shop in the visitor center sells crafts made by the First Nations people. There are jewelry, paintings, and pottery. You can also eat at the restaurant. Bison meat is in many dishes. 
There are also wild rice dishes, fruit pies, and traditional bread. All of the food is tasty. The archaeology lab is run by the local university. A big window lets you see the archaeologists working. They found a very old spearhead. They also found ancient human bones. The First Nations Visitor Center is a great place. You can learn about the First Nations culture. You can also see archaeologists at work. You can walk on the trails or enjoy a traditional meal. It is an experience to remember.